Hello guys, today we're going to talk about part two of Welcome to Camp Nightmare. Um, this one aired on November 24th, 1995. Oh, and I failed to mention previously, this parter isn't hosted by R.L. Stein. Not all multiple parts are hosted by R.L. Stein, only the specials are. And Netflix has a decent courtesy to put them, to take them out of order. I don't know why. I mean, hindsight doesn't matter, but I mean, I rather, I don't know. It's just, why not just put them in order? I don't know. But um, this episode has 7.6 out of 10 with around 200 IMDb voters. And it's stock, and the rest are the same as the previous episode. Um, stars Kaj Eric Erickson and uh, Chris Benson and uh, directed by Ron Oliver. I mentioned the other minor statistics in the previous one. It's the same. But um, this one continues. It keeps going and... Man, it's it. You really get invested. There's some sillier <laughs> moments. My God, these episodes are filled with silly moments. And the problem with the silly moments is sometimes it takes you out of the intensity. But you gotta keep in mind this show was aimed kind of at seven years old, seven year old. So you can only go so far with it, I guess. But I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the books, in my opinion, I feel like the books were a lot more intense. I don't think there were any, like, gorier or more mature, but I felt they were a bit more intense and a bit more serious in the shows, but... But anyway, this one concludes the show very well. It follows the book pretty well, the second part or two. The, the acting, the music. Oh, I did mention this before, cinematography. Um, the cinematography in this, in this I, like, I like the use of what they have. I like the use of the, of the woods and the, and the, I like the use of the camp. I like how they film the camp. It's pretty, it, it rem reminds me of Friday the 13th, but I think a bit more, I think, I, I think it's used almost a touch better in this. I don't know why. I think it's just the way it, they filmed it made it feel more structured. But, um, yeah, it's weird. But, um, acting's so good. We There's a twist at the end of the story that, of course, I won't give away, but it, it really comes out of left field, and it kind of, it, 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 it's so weird. It's just like, it kind of blows your mind a bit. Um, the mysteries do get solved. They get solved reasonably well. And, this, and, the, and, the, and the reason why is very good, too. I mean, there's definitely a sense of closure with the episode. You don't feel like anything really goes unanswered. But there is a big twist at the end. Um, yeah, this nothing really falters or fails from the previous episode. All the ingredients that made the first one good continue strong in this one, too. Um... Oh man, there's not there's not a lot more I could say about it. Um, I guess I'm I, I was gonna say my crit a lot of my criticisms in my summary episodes, which will be at the end when I get done reviewing all the episodes. But I just gotta mention this. I don't know why they do what they do, but for some reason I just feel like that's the thing. The thing with what separates Goosebumps from like a show like Are You Afraid of the Dark is that Goosebumps tries. They try to be scarier, but yet they, for some reason, they feel like they have to ap appeal to a younger audience, and it just, it just doesn't fit on a lot of episodes. I mean, for the most part, it's fine. They get, they get through it well, but there's just some episodes that it's just like there's just and not even in the ep it ruin it doesn't really ruin the episodes, but there's just moments where it's just like. Can we go a step further with this? Can we can we get a little? I mean, yeah. I guess maybe it's just a twenty-two year old in me that just that's used to watching hard R stuff and it goes something like this. I can get through it fine, but every once in a while, I'm just like, just just do something adult for God's sakes. Are you afraid of the dark? Did that much more often than Goosebumps does, but I that borderline's nitpicky, but. But it doesn't really, it doesn't harm this episode at all. In fact, it's actually, it's a actually one of the few episodes I think it handles it kind of nicely. Um, but, um, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it falls, yeah. I don't know what, 
that's really all I have to say about this episode. It's 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 one of the better two. It, the two part, the multiple parts are always the better episodes, and this is this is, and this is no exception. This is a good two parter. Second parter follows up real well to the first parter. It doesn't feel like a drop or anything like that, and um, and yeah, there's not really. Yeah, it's it's very. I guess the horror element is is there too, even though it's kind of a mystery too. They, like I said in the previous one, they juggle a lot of elements. And they do it pretty well. That's what I have to say about it. But um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the videos. Uh, and um, keep on watching them. <laughs> keep on watching these because they're they're coming. They're gonna keep coming. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.